Today, we're gonna be making some delicious, authentic bean dip. Now, you might be thinking, isn't bean dip just refried beans? <laughs> well, that really depends on who you ask. So in this video, we're gonna dive into a few different versions, starting with what is probably the most popular one off the shelf. I'm also gonna share a very popular recipe that for me is an authentic bean dip that's commonly served as an appetizer at Mexican restaurants here in the state. Now, why stop there? I've got one more bean dip recipe up my sleeve that's guaranteed to be a hit as an appetizer appetizer, for tailgating, for parties, and you name it. Now let's get these bean dips going. Vamanos! All right, now this is one of the original bean dips. I think a lot of us grew up really loving and enjoying this bean dip. I remember we used to drive from Petco down to the Rio Grande Valley, and there was always bean dips and bologna in the car. <laughs> let's see if it still tastes as good as it used to. Seems to me the way I remember it, it had a lot more flavor. I think I can make a much better bean dip. All right, I'm gonna take my 10 inch made in pan here. I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon grease in here. I'm gonna say that's about one tablespoon. We're gonna take a quarter cup of onions. We're gonna saute them. I'm not gonna toast them up a lot. We just wanna soften them up. It smells good. Good, good, good. Next thing we're gonna add is two garlic cloves and we're gonna let those saute for just about a minute just to bring out that extra good flavor here. Next up, we have two tablespoons of jalapeno or serrano. I'm using jalapenos today. These are the pickled variety. Half a cup of homemade tomato sauce. Now, store-bought variety is a little more concentrated. You might wanna use a quarter cup or a third of a cup. Next up, we have two cups of pinto beans. Not from a can, but you can use a can if you want to. All right, now our beans are warming up, so we're gonna get our potato smasher and give them a little smash. All right, they're starting to look really good. They're starting to dry up a little bit. Let's add some seasoning in here. We're gonna take two teaspoons of our uh, brisket rub, half a teaspoon of chili powder, add that in there. And for a little extra kick, we're gonna go with a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You guys know I gotta get a little bite in there. Getting all of that incorporated in there. They're starting to dance in here and float around like a UFO over the Pacific Ocean. Now, I think they're just about where I want them to be as a bean dip, because when they cool off a little, they're gonna firm up a little bit more. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. That's about where I want those right now. Now, it might look like refried beans, but friends, I promise you this is a good, good, good bean dip. Now, earlier today, we made some homemade chips. We call them totopos here at home. We mixed up a little bit of wow seasoning with some paprika and some other secret stuff. Good chips, good beans. Mmm. Mmm. What's not to love? Honestly, it's nothing close to the original bean dip, but it's way better. I tell you that. Now, this is super, super good if you just want a basic bean dip, especially if you like a little kick in there with the serrano and the cayenne pepper. The next one is one of my all-time favorites. Let's get started with round two of an amazing and delicious bean dip. Vamonos. We are going to drop a little bit of bacon grease in here. And this is a very simple recipe, but the secret ingredient is chorizo. I have a cup of chorizo here. We're going to dump that in here. Break it all up really good. This chorizo is cooking up really fast. It smells wonderful. Now this recipe is super easy and simple to do. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you can also make it with soy riso. You don't have to put the cheese at the end like we're gonna do here. I'm gonna add, again, two cups of beans, half a cup of homemade tomato sauce, about a half a cup there. The secret is to get the chorizo in there, get it cooked about halfway through, and it'll finish cooking by the time you're done smashing up all your beans. All right, friends, you see right now, it's what I call the stage one, kind of a soupy, runny bean. We're gonna cook it a little bit longer, dry them out a little bit more. All right, now there's two stages to the cheese. I have some ground up Oaxaca cheese here. You can use uh, Monterey Jack, you can use mozzarella, and we're gonna incorporate that into the beans here. Let that melt. It's that quick, it's that easy, and it is delicious. When they bring it to your table as an appetizer, it's usually served in a plate like this, and then they will put a little bit of cheese on top. You give that a couple of minutes, that cheese is gonna melt really nice. This is basically a very simple, easy to make appetizer, and quite frankly, this is probably my all-time favorite bean dip. They'll usually have two or three salsas to go with it, but look at that. Friends, there we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That would make them all down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll also make you go for seconds. Like I said, this is probably my all time favorite bean dip because it's so simple, so easy to make and super, super tasty. Let's move on to round three of the bean dips. So we're gonna do about two and a half or so tablespoons of lard. That's gonna add even more flavor to our beans. We're gonna saute our onions again, just like we did the first round. All right, our onions are starting to get sauteed, a little translucent, it's time to add the garlic. And as soon as that aroma comes up and is smelling good, we're gonna add another about a half to three quarters of a cup of our homemade tomato sauce with a little bit of chili arbol in it. Let's drop our beans in here. This is three cups, by the way. They're getting nice and hot already. Let's start smashing up these beans. I always like to add a little sprinkle of cilantro when they're just about done. We're gonna go ahead and turn these off and we're gonna start to assemble our bean dip. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put a layer of queso Oaxaca on the bottom, just enough to have a little bed liner down there. We're gonna pour a little bit of beans in here. Next up, we're gonna put a nice layer of yellow cheese. Now this is Longhorn style cheddar cheese. We're going now with the beans. This will be layer number one, two, three, four. All right, up next, a layer of sour cream. One more layer of beans, a little more Oaxaca cheese. This is a white melting cheese. You can use mozzarella, you can use Monterey Jack, you can use whatever you like. And we have a little bit more of this Longhorn style cheddar. Olives, we're gonna spread these out a little bit. But well, you want enough of them so that everybody gets some in every bite. We're gonna put a little bit of black olives. We've got quite a few of them here. We're not gonna use them all. Get one here and there. My ancestors are telling me that one goes right here too. <laughs> We're gonna lay a couple of jalapeno slices around here. Now, you can use canned jalapenos. That's quite all right. We're using fresh jalapenos. All right, friends, we have our final bean dip ready to go to the broiler. I have the broiler on high. Set it in here. We're gonna give it a couple of minutes. I can see through the glass there, our bean dip is ready to come out. Whoo, look at that. Beautiful. It's really a pretty, pretty bean dip, but wait, there's more. We weren't quite there yet, but we're very, very close. We're also gonna put a little bit of avocado on here, just a couple of little drops. Of course, we gotta to top it off with at least one more jalapeno. <laughs> We've got two kinds of cheeses in there already. We're adding a third. This is queso fresco. Queso fresco has a really good, sort of a nice little salty balance to the cheese. Just really adds another little kick and flavor. I really, really like this stuff a lot. I want to say this is probably the best bean dip you're ever going to have. And I can't wait to take a taste test. So I'm ready. Even though it's hot, I might even need a spoon or a fork to break this one up. No, we're good. Check that out. <laughs> a little bit of olives, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of beans, homemade chip. What's not to love, friends? Ooh, mm. that's good, Mama Tex. That's really good. I need one more dip because I didn't get a jalapeno on the other one. Super good. Look at that. Wow, sir. Mm. Pretty damn awesome. All right, I said earlier that the other one was my favorite. I might have to change my mind. <laughs> this is pretty freaking awesome, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you other than all these bean dips are fantastic. This is similar, but not quite like your original bean dip. This is the one that you get at the restaurants. And this is the one you want for your big party, for your tailgate. I want to say thank you to all of you guys for watching, for following, for subscribing. If you like our videos, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. If you guys are interested in our American Pitmaster rubs, you can go to pitmaster.us. Thanks for watching, friends. Keep the smoke light. Make it work. Boom!